Hi guys, Hotshot here, and welcome back once again to another video, and this time we're on Dead by Daylight, and you know, Dead by Daylight's had its ups and ups for the longest time, obviously, and you know, we're back again with another one, and today is one of those days where I want to upload a, a build that I actually have been running for the longest time, and uh, it's actually been my main build since like the early days when I um, had Ash for the longest time, because Metal Wolf Man was like... It's still my favorite perk in the game. Uh, I think next to Breakout and, uh, you know, all these fun perks that, you know, like, break people off of uh, uh, killers when they're, like, carrying them on their backs or whatever. That's just, like, the fun part. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is I'm trying to show you the build that I have. So it's pretty much, like, the Metal of Man tank build where pretty much I'm just taking hits from my teammates and breaking them off of their off the killer's backs because it makes the games more interesting for me. Um, pretty much, I just have fun the way I do. Um, obviously, with every game that I play, I just enjoy what I can. So keep in mind that I have made killers hardcore tunnel me, hardcore camp me, and they just do not like how I tank hits for the team, and it makes them frustrated. Um, I've only made like maybe one or two killers rage quit, and it's funny because I'm taking as many hits as I can. And the whole point of this build is just to, you know, help out your teammates and just break them off every time. And obviously, with the amount of time that I have on the game, you know, that's just all I pretty much do. I mean, obviously, I do my objective. Um, obviously, I do gens. But, you know, just sitting on gens all game can just be also very sleeper. So I try to make the best out of it by just trying different builds out. Now, I do have Metal of Man. I do have Breakout. I have Dead Hard. And I have Second Wind. I may be wondering why those perks. Um, obviously, Metal of Man by itself is the main perk that's uh, the hit or go miss type of perk. But all the other perks, on the other hand, <clears throat> all the other perks, you know, Breakout actually goes well with Metal because um, you're trying to break people off. And if you take a hit, you actually gain a token. And uh, it helps uh, the wiggle speed when you actually hit great skill checks when you're uh, being chased or whatever that uh, perk is. Uh, Dead Hard works well because uh, you only have like I think it's like 0.25 seconds for you to actually time it correctly because you just need to time it and when you actually get hit by the Dead Hard uh, Endurance if you uh, get hit by a killer who's carrying a survivor you actually can get a stack from it and get and you have to mend afterwards now second wind now this perk was like uh, like a what if perk if it like does it go well with the build and um, it does because since I actually like healing my teammates and getting points um because with that second win, you actually have to heal a teammate, and then when you get hooked or unhooked, um, or unhook yourself, or a teammate unhooks you, you get the broken status effect for 20 seconds, and then you're automatically healed. So in games like that I have, you know, I've had that perk come in handy where I can take an extra hit without having to use my bar bottled time, or borrowed time off of the hook, and it actually, like, goes really, really well with that, uh, uh, with the build that I have, so it makes sense for it to work. I've been switching between boon circle of healing and second wind because i was like which which perk actually works better now boon totems uh back in the day were just fucking broken and they were just insane back then to a point where they were just like oh lord and then when i actually uh used it uh i had metal of man for like i mean I, the total amount of times i've gotten metal to work in my games uh the, the longest or the highest number I got was like five times in one round. In all reality, like the closest you can get with metal in normal games is only like twice or even possibly three times. Or maybe not even because, you know, you may have had bad games. But the normal time that I usually get it is like either once or twice. Highest I got was five when uh, old Circle of Healing was just busted back then. So in reality, you know the these three perks are you know switch out second one with circle of healing the i mean that perk right now uh it just increases healing speed by teammates or you, you heal teammates easier or quicker so it's like if you would you rather have second one where you heal a teammate and you gain the health back from them after you get off the hook or find a totem to heal your teammates and heal you heal your teammates quicker or get back or, or in your teammates healing you quicker so obviously i I've been experimenting, and I think second win is a little bit better because I can get a health state back without having anyone to heal me because I'm broken. So, and plus, I can survive for 20 seconds. That's not literally that's not a problem. And um, 
it actually helps me gain extra tokens if I need to get it back. Obviously, if you have like the insta down killers like Billy or Bubba or you know, um, uh, Billy, Bubba, Michael, or Ghostface or whoever has an insta down ability, any of those killers that can do that, it really counters him. He counters my build pretty badly, and obviously, I'll have a tougher time. But I can still try to get it to work no matter what I try to do. And plus, I don't really care if I die. Because the whole point of me is just t tanking as many hits as I can. Or if I just go down, I go down. Um, I'll tell you what, like I said earlier, I've gotten hard camped. I've gotten hard tunneled. I've gotten just... I've looped killers for almost five minutes. And, you know, it's one of those things where the killers hate me the most compared to anyone else on the team. Because they... You get... Like, when I break them off early, and let's say a late game, they try to hook, and they realize, wait, this guy only has one hook. Why is that? It's because, well, obviously the Ash has been breaking them off for the longest time and sabling hooks, and obviously that's been a problem. And Breakout works so well with that because when you uh, get hit or whatever, it slows them down, and the Wiggle Bar actually, you know, pushes, progresses more uh, with Breakout. And it's funny because there's been so many games where... I've had so much success with second wind and you can try you can switch it out for a boon totem if you'd want to but it's like you know it, it takes more time for you to deal with it because if you unhook a survivor and you heal them right at the hook you know second wind can easily pop up for you anytime you want and plus you can only get second wind to work out twice in one round because the third time you get hooked you know you're dead obviously so there's more times where you can possibly potentially tank another hit while you can reset it and plus you can honestly get metal of man uh more than once so obviously you would want to try to do it again i don't care if i go down and die because if i die at least my and, and my teammates get out i feel like it's worth it because like i said with um before if you watch ash versus evil dead in the season finale you know he sacrificed his uh, he sacrificed himself uh, but he actually is alive uh, to save his town like his daughter and his two friends so obviously i mean they don't have that in the game but obviously for my teammates sake i was figured you know that kind of sticks to the lore in a way where i tank hits for my team and i try to make sure they get out alive because a ghost beater never leaves a man behind <laughs> but that's a reference so obviously with that being said i think this is the best build for me honestly uh, I just wanted to share it with everyone, if, and if they want to try it out for themselves and they think it's fun that way for them, by all means, this is the build. Um, I do want to say, though, just be prepared to get <laughs> hard camped and tunneled, even though you may not like it. I'm just saying you may use it in situations where you're just like, oh, well, oh yeah, I died from that. Trust me, like there's been so many games where, I think it was today, where uh, I was on... Uh, the pen asylum map like clowns map or whatever or nurses map or whatever and um i remember just like a trapper was on that map and he just he hated me because i kept breaking off my teammates and obviously he really wanted me dead like i was just hard tunneled out or like i didn't die but because i escaped but he just really wanted me dead and i kept looping him inside the building for so long and my teammates did their objective they got the gen done but it's like they saw how the killer saw how like annoying i was just because of just how i was able to really like follow through with the uh with the perks and stuff and how to you know counter you know his traps or whatever and obviously you know i really don't like trappers eerie add-ons because i think they're busting you know i get smacked on the hook i get fucking just the ego shit from these killers and obviously i'm just like bro what the hell i've never gotten this angry toxicity before and obviously for my teammates on the other hand i've gotten some positive messages from them every time i actually help them escape with uh with metal of man because i've gotten it to work really well and obviously with that amount of time i'm just like man i don't care <laughs> like as long as you get out i'm fine with that i don't care if i die i just want to have a fun game and obviously i do have a fun game because you know at the end of the day you know it is what it is so i'm not really mad at the fact that i'm dead i'm just think it's funny when uh they get salty because i actually helped my teammates out and they actually got out in time so kudos to me for being a fucking team player and you know shame on that guy for being a dick but honestly that's where i see things in my own perspective i think they're more fun that way I love taking hits from my teammates. I find it fun. I enjoyed this Medal of Man build for a reason. 
because I never take it off because that's the thing about me. I never really like to switch to anything that's like pretty much meta pretty much i know like made for this was like really broken back then that's why i didn't really play the game I've, i picked it back up because i do miss playing dbd from time to time don't get me wrong but for the most part and from the positive messages i've gotten from people and playing solo queue that's what it should all be about just you know people that are just happy to play again i think the game you know it's it's getting its new chapter soon it's like the new killer is like the unknown or whatever the hell his name is but weird ass dude but honestly overall um sort of getting back into dbd a little bit so hopefully you know i mean it's not my main game but it's just a game i'm enjoying right now and like i said before i don't care that i die for my team just as long as they get out and they have a smile on their face with that being said guys i'm gonna head out thank you guys so much for watching my video like comment and sub and you know what happens anytime you see me in the game we should totally play and as always y'all know what to do Stay groovy. I'll catch you later. Peace.